Right, first things first. It is cold. <laughs> the temperature is eight degrees. I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more though right now because it's just not as full as I wanted it. So I'm just gonna fill it up a little bit more now for the next maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. If you've been following along the journey so far, my January challenge was to only eat steak and greens for 30 days. I lost 10 kg. My February challenge, the one which I literally just finished yesterday, was to run 10 kilometers a day for the whole month. But both of these challenges, January and February, I'd say were probably more physically demanding. So I wanted to get onto something and do something a bit more mentally challenging for me. With these challenges that I'm doing, I'm approaching them from more of a, a learning point of view rather than a numbers, because results are good and all, but for me, I kind of like to touch base on what I've actually learned, the lessons I've learned, what I've learned about myself. Because as I said in the in the previous video, if you've not already watched it, my, my February challenge, we learn a lot about ourselves when we do the things that we don't want to do. And this is something I do not want to do, especially in the morning, as soon as you woke up, you know, from the comfort of your own bed, the last thing you want to be doing is getting into a tub of freezing cold water. Yeah, this is the ice plunge every single day for a month. Let's see how it goes. So this is the first cold plunge for March, day one. The temperature, as I've already said, is just above eight degrees. Go for as long as I can, whether it be one second, five seconds, 30 seconds, and we're gonna, I'm already shivering now, and I'm not even in there, right? <laughs> Let's go. goal for this month is to decrease the temperature and try and increase the exposure right people that is the day one plunge done I think we lasted like I don't know five ten seconds hopefully my body is going to start getting used to it and start you know understanding what this is because i mean that's all it is at the end of the day these next few days now are just getting used to the exposure getting used to the temperature so yeah that's been day one i'm gonna get back inside now <laughs> it is saturday morning the cold pod let's go ice plunge let's go. eight degrees <laughs> Good. let's go Good in it. a little bit of a warm-up I did this yesterday, I look like a scared little cat hit, hitting the water. This guy is just not fumbling whatsoever. No, right, so while Jack's just, just having a whale of a time, any words? Control the breathing. As soon as you can get that <laughs> breath and breathing right, anything's possible. If you can do three minutes, just you're up there. Red Wim Hof standards. Bro, it looks warm. Like you're making the water look, look warm, warm yeah. bro. Isn't yeah. it? Key to this is once you get past a minute, it's not too bad. Your body gets used to it and it's all right. But that first minute or oh, just, just getting in it, looking at it, it's horrible if you've not done it before. I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now in cold showers and things like that. So quite used to it. Whereas these boys. Bro, fair play. <laughs> yeah, get the fringe right. If you got a warm up after, if you don't, consequences. <laughs> Right, so we are currently at around a three week mark. It's three weeks tomorrow, I think. Yeah, it is currently the 20th. So yeah, three weeks tomorrow. So I'm just gonna take this time to talk from a bit of a holistic point of view and what I've learned about myself, about life, and what this challenge has kind of taught me. And then right at the end of the video, that's when I'm gonna be talking about the physical and mental benefits. So I'm just gonna say a quick few things now from a holistic point of view. So number one is that, and I think I may have mentioned this in the 10 kilometers a day challenge video from last month, but the first thing I'd want to mention is that 
Daunting tasks will always remain daunting unless you make a start. Most mornings I wake up from my warm bed under my warm quilt and I come into this room and I look out the window to the cold part and some days it's raining, some days it's windy, some days it seems really cold, it's frosty and I just don't want to get in, right? And I'm just looking at this pod, looking, looking, looking. And the reality is, is, is that immediate action will solve 99% of your problems. If you continue thinking about things and thinking about starting, you're never going to actually start. Or just focus on what you can do today and focus on being better today. Another thing as well, and this is a really big lesson that I've learned, and I kind of always knew this, I think, but now it's really been instilled into my head and I've really come to the realization of this, is that without goals and milestones and aspirations and things to look forward to, life can seem very, very pointless and it can lead you to seeking short-term pleasures or doing degenerate things or wasting your time and essentially just not living a very fulfilling life. So purpose and having a purpose is so, so important to living a life of fulfillment, a life of enjoyment, a life to be proud of, right? You don't want to get to 80 years old and look back and think, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. You want to get to 80 years old and think, yeah, I've absolutely battered this thing that we call life. I've done absolutely everything that I wanted to do, that I've set out to do, and there's nothing that I'd change. And the last thing, well, not the last thing, I've got a whole list of these things, but I don't want to talk about them all because the video will be ridiculously long. But the last thing that I want to talk about is that you are the only person who's going to be there for you every single step of the way. So you have to get your mind right. Everything's a mindset. Money's a mindset. Motivation's a mindset. Success is a mindset. Everything starts with the mind. You have to get your mind right and you have to to learn to be alone you have to learn to embrace the pain you have to learn to embrace the suffering because if you don't life is going to be ridiculously hard and it's only going to get harder times don't get easier we just get stronger right we have to get stronger every single day we have to grow we have to push ourselves we have to turn up every single day and just try and be better than we were yesterday but yeah without further ado i've got a week or so left of this cold pod challenge. I'm actually going to have to finish this challenge on the 28th because I'm going away on the 29th and I'm not gonna be able to take the cold pod with me. So this challenge was from the 1st till the 28th. So on the 28th, I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna jump in the cold pod. You're gonna see how different I am compared to day one. And I'm gonna to talk to you a bit more about the physical and mental benefits that I have experienced. So until that last video, bow. Right people, so today is the 28th of March. We are on day 28. Now, the reason I'm making an update today is because I'm going away tomorrow and I'm not gonna be able to take the cold pod with me. So today is essentially the last day of the challenge. So we're gonna do a final update today. The temperature has kind of varied from, I think the lowest it's been is maybe 6.4, 6.5 degrees but it's been very hard to get the temperature all the way down because obviously spring's in the air now. Currently, the temperature is at... Oh, that's good, isn't it? It'll be about seven or eight degrees today, probably closer to eight degrees, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still cold. And yeah, we're gonna get in now. <laughs> You're gonna see how different I am compared to the first video, the first day. The first day I lasted 11 seconds. It was awful, I, you know, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get in there now and I'm going to talk to you about a few of the benefits, mental and physical. So first things first, as you can tell, my breathing is a lot more controlled. I can last a lot longer. The first day was 11 seconds uh, was my maximum. Now it's minimum, you know, five or six minutes. And the physical benefits... Other than the clear increase of exposure and the breathing, my knee pains and my joint pains are so much better. My stiffness from my running uh, is so much better. My appetite's actually gone down, but my energy levels have increased. Another thing as well is that when I first got in here, I was very cold for a long time after get it, getting out. Now my recovery time's a lot better, so I get warmer a lot quicker. Physical, that's more or less it, but it's more mentally, it's, it's the more mental side of things that I've seen a lot of benefits. Focus and clarity has gone up completely. You know, my energy levels have gone up a lot. I think that kind of ties into maybe physical as well. But focus is better, clarity is better, procrastination is better, as in I'm not procrastinating as much. It's good to start your day off with a win. Doing this every morning definitely helps to start your day with a huge win. 
and gets you ready for the day. I'm a lot more positive in myself, a lot more energized, a lot more disciplined. This has been a big, big discipline challenge for me because there's no intrinsic motivation to get into a cold part every morning, right? There's no intrinsic motivation whatsoever. So for me, this is all just discipline and doing this every single day, you know, it's, it, it's hard. But yeah, tunnel vision. I mean, overall, I just feel fantastic. I've never felt this good. I'd recommend this to absolutely everyone. I'm definitely going to carry on doing these cold plunges going forward. It's been hard. Some days I really don't want to get up and do this. I try to do this before working out because it's a lot easier when I'm already warm. So getting up every morning, you know, out of bed is the worst thing to do. But as I said before, you don't learn anything by doing the things that you want to do. You don't find any of your answers to the questions that you seek in the comforts of your own bed in the warmth of your own warm home, watching Netflix, eating junk food. You have to get yourself out here and put yourself into situations that you don't want to be in. It's been a journey. I'm going to carry on doing this regularly. Woo! Let's go! That concludes the cold pod. It's safe to say that it's cold. <laughs> it's not warm at all. For the first few days of doing this, I'd be running straight inside, getting into that warm shower. But now my recovery time, as I've already said, is a lot better. Just got to control the breathing, allow myself to warm up naturally, or as naturally as possible before getting into that shower. But yeah, if you've liked this video, if you've liked this challenge so far and the other videos that I've made, make sure to drop me a like, drop me a comment, hit that subscribe button and pop on that notification buzz for any future videos and future shorts on this channel. Until next time, this has been Zach with a K. Bow.